Hey guys, Terry here. So I have been um, asked to do a little video about the new Cricut Joy. So um, I've got my Cricut Joy right over here on the table. Um, it's so cute. It's less than five pounds. Fits in the palm of your hand and um, uses the Cricut, existing Cricut software. Um, the blades and the pens are a little bit smaller. Uh, the mats come, this mat comes with it. You can buy a longer mat and you can buy a card mat. Um, and then the vinyl um, comes on these sheets where you don't have to use the mat. So that's handy. But let me show you what I wanted to use my new Cricut Joy for. I have Creative Memory albums and some of these I did not get um, the embossing on the outside to label them. So what I did years ago was I actually I got this idea from a friend where I slid in these um, page protectors and I just put stickers on them. So I was thinking on this vinyl that I have if I could cut the numbers out um, then I could stick it on the um, you know, this outside binder of the uh, Creative Memory album. So I'm going to try this out. It's permanent vinyl. There's also iron-on, but I'm going to see if this one sticks on. If not, I'll do it on the iron-on and then try um, using the heat press to put it on, on the book. But let's just see how this works. So in the software, you open up your design software and you uh, log into your account so that it has all of your cartridges that you have. And the one that I previously cut was this one, just to do a test. So let me change, I'm gonna edit this, and instead of it being those years, I'm gonna change it to be 2006 and 2004. So I just picked a font that was on my computer, because you can use your computer fonts. And then I am just going to click on Make It, up here in the top of the software. Sorry, there's a sun glare. So there's a green Make It button. And then it says, do you want to, um, how are you loading it? Are you using a mat, the card mat, or without the mat? So I'm doing the without the mat, and I'll click on done. And now it says my material must be at least four inches. So then I'm clicking on the continue button. Okay, and then it's asking me what kind of vi what kind of material I'm using. Um, I'm going to hit the smart vinyl permanent, and it's on the back of the vinyl it says that too so I know what kind it is and then I am going to also now I'm coming over to the machine and there's no load button there's no buttons on the machine you simply place this in there and it grabs it and then in the software it says loading the material and then you can click go so you're doing it all from the either the phone app or on your tablet or I mean in this case I'm using my computer so down in this lower button over here there's a go I'm hitting go and then the machine is going to cut it on here And then on the software, it says complete. So I will click on unload. 
and it pops it out. Okay, so now what we have to do is um, the weeding part, which means that we're just going to peel apart. We're going to take up take off the part we don't want. That's why I did two on here. And then you take out the, oh, again, I apologize for the glare. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking out the little pieces that are in the numbers. Basically, want to remove everything that because I'm going to pick this up with a transfer tape. Okay. Okay. So just to show you, when it cut, it had the shape inside the numbers and what I did over here was I took those little things out okay and now you take your transfer tape and you can reuse the transfer tape as long as it still has some sticky <clears throat> and I'm just picking up this first one here so the idea is that you pick up the vinyl from this plastic piece here. Okay, pick it up like that. on there to pick it up. Okay, and then I'm going to put this on my creative memory book or whatever you're going to apply it to. So I'm going to put it about there. And then again, I'm just going to do I have it on straight. the plastic as the guide here okay and now what you're doing is you're sticking the numbers down onto your project and you want to peel the tape off and they say to do it at a 45 degree angle that came off really easily so I think that's gonna I'll put my transfer tape back on here so I can reuse it. But I think that's going to work good. I love it. A lot better than the plastic piece that I had on there. So this is the permanent vinyl. Um, it'd be interesting to compare it to the um, to the um, iron-on. But I'll tell you, it's super sticky. I mean, when I was picking off those little pieces, I think it's staying on there really well. So, I think it looks great. So, I love it. So, hopefully that showed you how to use the Cricut Joy. It's the regular Cricut software. And uh, the vinyl. There's also iron-on. You can make t-shirts with it. So, they just made a nice, new, cute little portable model that um, you know has the easy to use software I think the big thing is people using it with their phone you could take this with you um, they're making the vinyl and everything be on these sheets that are they're called smart sheets 
but it's, I mean, it's kind of a pretty heavy duty plastic, and that just feeds into the machine. And uh, works really well. So, thanks guys. Keep the questions coming. I'll talk to you later.